What's up, what's up? It's your boy Jones and Man, and tonight we jonesing on Basil Aiden's Subtle Smoke. Woo! All right, all right. So this is another new release from Basil Hayden. And Basil Hayden been setting it off lately. Um, you can probably see over the top corner, I got that Basil Hayden toast. I got to get y'all a full review on that one too. But I just grabbed this one. Um, Basil Hayden gets a lot of slack. It's a Jim Beam product. Um, and a lot of the slack comes from the fact that this bottle was probably 50 bucks, somewhere in that neighborhood. But every single... Basil Hayden expression up to this point has been 80 proof. So for from the whiskey, in the world of whiskey drinkers that we live in today, where the higher the proof, well, the, I'm sorry, the thought is the higher the proof, the better the whiskey. Basil Hayden really is probably on the lowest, I mean, 80 is the lowest entry point that you can come through in the, in the States to actually be a whiskey. So, I mean, it's on the low end of the Totem Pro. It's not the least expensive spirit. I'm digging the new bottle design. But what they say with this, we're going to pop this thing on open. With this new subtle smoke is that it is Basil Hayden's traditional high rye blend. But what they do differently is they age it for about six months um, in a lightly toasted barrel. I think it was hickory, if I'm not mistaken, that they use to toast it with. And, or maybe hickory is what they, uh, lightly toast it. And then they, in well, I guess the best way, I won't say infuse, but they inject the smoke into the already aged whiskey. So I kind of look at it from a comparison of, if you go to the bar and you order a cocktail, or uh, uh, old fashioned, but you have it smoked, typically what's happening is they're building a cocktail in the glass and then they're smoking the spirit in the glass feels like that's kind of what's happening in this process. Um, it's got slight little details. I don't know if y'all can see that around <clears throat> a little slight burn. I, I dig it. I dig it. I'm a Basil Hayden fan. Um, I'm not going to talk about the toast yet. So you just have to check out that review to see what's going on with the toast. So let's pop it. Uh, very light notes of smoke. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the rocks. I didn't mean to. But we're going to do what we do. We're going to pour it on the rocks. Uh, and we're going to do a neat pour. And I'm going to tell you what I think about it, baby. Nice and easy. I think Basil Hayden gets a bad rep. This is what I send people to. If you've never tried whiskey before, I always send them to the regular gold label Basil Hayden. It's available everywhere. It's, it's 80 proof. It's not a huge jump from your whiskey, tequila, vodka, as far as proof is concerned. And it gives you a chance to kind of appreciate what elements are within whiskey that are different from those other spirits. Um, sweet corn. Nice little, kind of feel like a little, maybe a little citrus, a little citrus in there. Vanilla, definitely alcohol content, which I'm surprised at 80 proof. Let's see what she tastes like, Basil. I got a, I, I'm, it's weird. I'm getting regular basil hay, little bit of citrus in them, ever so slight, maybe a little toffee too, a little toffee on the under end, ever so slight smoke. I really thought this was kind of going to be like the introduction from basil into maybe more scotchy, more peated products. Let me taste it again. Let me, let me go back. Maybe there's a little bit. It's very, very light, man. It's uh, it's not as overpowering as I thought. It might even add a little extra layer of complexity. I haven't had razor, regular basil in a minute. But on that first sip, man, I like that. Let me, let me taste this. Let me taste this. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I feel the smoke a little bit more. Wow, it is, it is very subtle. Um, I thought it was going to be more peaty-like, and it is not. 
Um, if they talk about toasted barrel. I don't get a lot of the vanillas and caramels that you do or you're supposed to get on toasted barrels. No marshmallow. A little vanilla, slight toffee, um, regular what I remember Basil Hayden tastes like. Thin line of smoke. Uh, wow. Mm. I, I, I believe, you know, I'm, I'm shocked because I really thought I was going to not like this because of the smoke aspect of it. I thought they were trying to make a, a malt a malt bourbon of sorts, a, a smoke peated bourbon. And that's not what I get. This is as light as I remember from Basil Hayden. This is as easy to drink. I want to say I paid about 50 bucks. I'll try and put it down in the bottom. Um, I don't dislike, I like this. Yeah, I like this both, both ways. Uh, in the world of Basil Hayden, I got to give it a four. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want I want to talk I'm, I'm 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 freaking out because I want to talk about the toasted. And I haven't done the toasted review. I've only tasted the toasted at this point. So I don't want to give away too much, so I'm just going to skip that part. But um I'm definitely going to give this a 4. A little bit I'm getting a little bit of smoke on the back end, maybe a little bit more, but honestly, this is solid. For 50 bucks, if you like Basil Hayden, I definitely think you would like this. And even if you don't like Basil Hayden, I think that there's there's a little citrus, there's a little bit of vanilla, there's a little bit of smoke in there. I think this may be a little more layered, a little more complex than the traditional Basil Hayden that you get to. Uh, I know they mentioned this to be a one-time, yeah, velvety mouthfeel, caramel. I know they talked about this being a one-time release, but wow. This might replace the regular basil. I like it. So there you have it. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I heard somebody say that they got a lot of vinegar on this. And I really don't get any of that. So follow you next time. I will hit you up next time. Follow me next time. Whatever. Uh, I'm just thrown off because I, I expected to hate this. Well, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's your boy, Jones and Man, www.cwspirits.com. Promo code Clinkum5 to order you something fantastic and support your boy. Clinkum and drink them. We'll see you next time.